Okay guys, so what I thought I'd do is um, I'd do a bit of a video on my brief uh, weather briefing um, for a trip that I've got tomorrow to Gloucester. So I'm going to be setting off from Liverpool um, around about 11 o'clock. We're going to go IFR and I'm going to basically take a quick look at the, the weather and then I'm going to show you how that I uh, how I use uh, Rocket Route in particular to file a flight plan. Um, but then I do use four flights um, in in flights, which I find to be a far better tool. So um, the first thing that I do is um, I'll have a quick look at the weather and I just want a general overview as to what day is the best day. Um, and so basically I do use the Met Office, but I use the standard weather um, briefing and I have a quick look at the weather here and it just gives me a great overview of the of the map itself uh, of the United Kingdom and it gives me weather symbology. Now that's for today so uh, I'm going tomorrow. Um, I have had a look at this prior uh, uh, to, to doing today's video so I'm looking at Friday the 21st, 21st of March and I'm looking to uh, leave around about 11 o'clock in the morning um, and so basically having a very quick look at that uh, I can just see that northwest of England, down south, I've got a little bit of cloud, I've got a little bit of sun. Scrolling through for 12 o'clock, um, 1 o'clock, doesn't seem to be you know, changing at all. So to me that's sort of indicating quite a, um, a reasonable weather day. Um, so that sort of stage one, I'm thinking, right, well, you know, Friday's looking like it could be uh, quite a good day. Um, the next thing that I'll do is I'll go, uh, I use the app uh, for flight, which I have a subscription to. I've got a pro subscription. I'm going to for flight. And again, just very, very simply, not looking for anything sophisticated. Uh, I'm just going to look at Gloucester uh, itself or the airfield. Uh, it's set to Gloucester, it's the one that I looked at quickly. Um, and basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to the weather um, section, the weather tab here. But I'm going to go for daily here. It will then refresh i'm looking at thursday today friday friday i'm looking at tomorrow it brings me up an hour by hour idea of what the uh, meteorological condition going to do cloud base visibility temperature etc this is a forecast this is not in any way accurate it's not necessarily um to be relied on it is just an indication for me and by looking through i can see i've got vfr I've got 14 to 18,000, up to 23,000 visibility, uh, ceiling, 16K of visibility. The colour coding is green. It's all looking uh, pretty good to me. Um, and so I've now got um, additional indications that, you know, my weather uh, criteria is going to be good. And then one of the final things that I'll do is I'll use um, a product called Auto Router. It's not a product, it's a website called Auto Router. And it has something called Gramet. Um, I've got to log into it, so I'm just going to log in very briefly. And if I go up to the briefing section, go to Gramet, it's going to ask me for a route. Now, I don't know what my route's going to be necessarily, but I can pretty much guarantee it's going to be uh, Liverpool. Uh, well, in fact, let's just put in the ICAO code for Gloucester, which is EGBJ, so that's a direct line. I'm selecting a, f um, a flight level of uh, 100, which just gives me um, a level which I'm likely to be flying at. Could be flight level 80, 100, uh, 120, or actually going south, more likely to be the odd odd levels. Choosing the date, choose the picker, which is for tomorrow, Friday uh, 21st, and a time. So uh, time of departure is going to be 11 o'clock, and it's roughly an hour uh, at journey. I hit the request button and this is going to give me a graphical representation of the weather conditions and there you go looking at that the purple line flight level 100 again it's a forecast it's showing me here nice clear blue skies this is sort of representing cloud I'm not going to go into a detailed um, analysis of what grammar does and how to interpret it but I'm looking at this and and everything that me tells me you know we're good to go for tomorrow in fact we're very very good to tomorrow so realistically that now i've got three good positive weather indications and that's before i start to use things like um 214 215 which are the met office products i do use windy in fact let's have a, let's have a quick look at so uh, windy um a little bit more complicated to use windy um but let's have a quick look for tomorrow 
in the Gloucestershire area. Um, so there's Gloucester and let's have a quick look. Forecast for this location. I changed it to Meteogram and Friday around about 12 o'clock um, it is consistent with what I'm being told. These dark patches here, they actually don't represent cloud. Again, we'd have to look, uh, look at um, a more detailed uh, windy weather briefing. But if you look over here where it's dark shapes, which don't represent cloud, but just for the sake of today's video, could be considered to be cloud. You can see it's looking cloudy. Um, you've got symbology up at the top here, which is showing dark clouds and rain. So bit of a worse day. Here we're, we're showing cloud base for Sunday afternoon, uh, sorry, Sunday in the middle of the night, um, you know, at 300 feet, it's been color coded to an IFR type color, uh, which is uh, a, a pink suggesting low IFR conditions. So not particularly great. Whereas if we look at Friday here, we've got cloud base very, very high, 14,000 feet, 25,000 feet. So, you know, looking far, far better um, than uh, Sunday. We're not going on Sunday, so it doesn't really make, make any difference. So I'm happy with that. So now um, I'm going to plan the route. I'm going to use a product called Rocket Roots, which I have a subscription to. Again, I could use this on the iPad. Um, let's just go to the sign in page. And again, this is just a quick and dirty video. I'm looking now at creating a flight. So, departing um, from Liverpool, EGGP, as you can see. We're going to Gloucester, EGBJ. We're going tomorrow um, at, uh, which is the 21st. We want to depart at 11 o'clock. It's now telling me straight away, 43 minutes on route time. Um, I'm going to select auto route and auto route will come up with a list of suggested routes and altitudes. I'm pretty certain I know the one that I'm going to get. and. If we click on each particular route that it suggests, where it will graphically display the route, most of these are identical. Uh, you see that one quickly changed there. So that's uh, Whitegate direct to Nanty to Staffer at flight level 90. This is slightly different. This is uh, Nanty, Knockin, Midjo, Kona, and Atas. And you can see the graphical representation here changes. Um, and let's have a quick look at this one at flight level one uh one three zero so this one is the one that i'm going to select which is going to be a 92 victor departure no guarantee that the runway des uh, designator may change tomorrow out by nancy uh, flight level one three zero picking up lima eight which is uh, the airway direct through to staffer and then as i expected direct down to echo golf bravo juliet which is cluster at which point here I would select next and it will validate the route. So I actually filed this flat plan first thing this morning and it only actually occurred to me that it was probably a good idea to do a video of it. So um, that's exactly the process that I would use but I'll now show you exactly what happens once that's been validated. The next screen would have been basically simply a confirmation. Um, and then what happens is, is that um, on entry back to our rocket route, we can see here that I've got a list of flights. Um, here's one selected here, and we'll actually go into rocket route on the iPad as well, as you can see how, the, how that represents it itself. There's my filed active flight plan. Clicking on that gives me quite a number of options. Gives me the current routing, uh, Nancy, uh, LA Stafford Direct. Uh, it's Liverpool to EGBJ, whether it's uh, Liverpool, Liverpool at Gloucester. Any advisors, which I'll look at before the flight itself. And then we can download this briefing pack here, which I do find particularly useful. Again, the route on flights is here. There's the graphical representation coming up. 
And you can see the briefing pack is now populating itself here. This is a particularly interesting one, which is going to show me icing levels here. And I do use this quite significantly. So um, it's basically showing me the climb or the typical climb up to flight level 130, head towards Staffer, and then the, the descent over here. And then these grey markers, depending on how dark they are, are representative of the likelihood of icing at those particular levels. So I can see that flight level 130, if I'm going to be entering cloud of any description or visible moisture, there's a possibility of icing. Aircraft itself is uh, um, certified for flight to known icing, and so that's not uh, particular, uh, necessarily a problem. So that's how I do my planning. As I say, it's a rough and ready one. Um, I do do a few other bits and pieces as we get nearer to the flight, but just a very basic uh, overview of how I uh, plan my trip to a destination in the UK. Thanks for watching.